This is Liam and we are here to chat to you about our six quicks, six quicks for Australian musician. First question. So for me, it's probably the first Lumineers record, which is, I think it's just called The Lumineers. And I also really love Father John Misty's first album as well, uh, Fear Fun. I like the, the Queen is said by the Smiths because every song of it is a banger. Cool. Second question. Next question. Definitely, I just love Isabella Manfredi from The Preachers and would freaking love to collaborate with her. She's a boss. She is a boss lady. Um, third question. I love that we're both wearing band shirts right now. I didn't even realise that. Coincidentally. This isn't my first one, I only got it the other day. What's your first? My first one would have been Muse when they came around on their Resistance tour. In 2009, instantly, it's also the first CD I ever bought. Really? Yeah. That's nice. With your own money? With my own hard earned dollars from working at a bakery. I like that. <laughs> um, my first shirt was Green Day. Um, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. That's sick. And I remember I got caught like on TV with it on, on some guy's shoulders at Sound Relief. Oh, Do you remember? I actually remember that. That's yeah. funny. So um, if you have your Sound Relief DVD. Yeah. Yeah, right. She's on some work shoulders for most of it. Yeah. New precision bass, but an old one. So not a new one. That'd be nice. That sounds lovely. Just to add to the collection. I've already got too many basses, though, so apparently. They're yeah. all based, yeah. I think I would like a nice, fancy little dreamy reverb pedal. I am looking for the perfect one. Dream verb. Dream verb. This is like the slowest six clicks they've probably ever had. Um. I I was just saying that I sometimes dream that I'm in Jesus Christ Superstar and I go on stage and I'm not in costume and I've forgotten my blocking and my lines. That's terrifying. <laughs> so, um, we've just actually come back from heading into, we're from Geelong, we head into um, Real Music and we chatted to Matt in there who owns the store and he we sussed out our test press for our vinyl, so we've got an album called Here's to Better Times and Seeing Better Places. And it sounded freaking cool. Woo. It was really cool. And um, what, what about it? I guess it's kind of like um, thematically, it's about kind of like a coming of age kind of um, album about going between those kind of like teenage years and arriving at adulthood and kind of not knowing what you're meant to be doing and like really kind of who you are. So it's kind of explores that and I guess we kind of wrote it when we're all going through that. It'll be out in March. But yeah, um, nice to chat to you guys. See ya. Bye.